sports car radio fans haters welcome back to the channel guess we have less haters uh this time around since the last time i was doing these videos uh but we what we do know about the haters is they watch every video they hang on every single one of our words so we appreciate them as much as we do the fans uh you know look it's been a while since i've been out here on the golf course with you guys uh but i have been out here on the golf course a lot maybe playing every other day here for the last several months uh game's still a little rusty but on today's video, we're not going to be talking about golf. We're going to be talking about everybody's favorite collectible superstar influencer guru. That's right. The collectibles guru. I think he goes by Eric Whiteback. I don't even think that's his real name. Some people have a problem with that. Personally, I don't. People want privacy. People want an alias. People want to go by a, a surname or whatever. That's fine by them. But this guy has some, you know, he has some interesting takes. But he has some real cringy ones, and he actually had two today inside of the same tweet, believe it or not. He had two tweets that were ultra cringy, and it has the sports card world talking. So that's what we're going to be talking about on today's show. For main part of his tweet, he was talking about 2024 Top Series 1 baseball. So obviously that's just came out. Some of you might have uh, picked up a pack or two or a box or even been in a box break or whatever. And, and look, it's a great product. It's not overly expensive and it's certainly approachable. And I think you can go to Target and Walmarts and, and find a pack or two uh, these days. Well, the collectible guru's take was that he's actually happy that this set has chipping and border issues because the borders on series one cards are a little darker and they're prone to chipping and and so that obviously means if you're going to grade these cards it's going to be much harder to get mint it's much harder to get gem mint so he was looking at it from the angle of this actually makes them happy it actually makes them happy that the gem rate goes down if you do have a psa 10 it is actually rare and it's worth something and look some people had varying takes on that uh, for a, an approachable affordable flagship product i don't know if i agree with that because the vast majority of people that are buying these cards they're not looking to grade the base cards. They're not looking to grade a bunch of the cards. And so in you're basically Tops is selling a product that is damaged out of, of the gate. And if we use collectible guru's logic on other things in life, like let's say automobiles. So we're happy coming off the lines of Mercedes Benz. Some of the cars have paint chips. Some of the cars transmissions barely run. There's some lemons coming off of the line of Mercedes Benz. Using his logic, that would make us happy because if we end up with one of the Mercedes Benz cars that actually do run, well, it makes ours more desirable and more valuable. I don't buy that logic. I think it's a pretty cringy take. Now, believe it or not, that's not the only cringy take that he had inside of this tweet. In fact, somebody brought up a really good point saying that we're paying more and more for these products every single year. You'd actually expect the quality to at least maintain itself, if not get better. We don't want to see the quality of these cards actually get worse. And that's kind of what we're seeing, at least from a quality control perspective. And so he brought up a good point that we're paying more and more every year for trading cards and they're coming out in worse and worse condition. Well, Collectos Gruber had a really cringy tw take, and he says, oh, well, well, over the past 20 years, Top Series 1 has actually been pretty stable in price. Well, he here's the problem with a lot of these influencers. It was the problem we initially had with Jeff Wilson. Jeff Wilson said he was a sports card investor. Well, if you listen to Jeff Wilson, Jeff Wilson was brand new in the hobby. Jeff Wilson didn't know anything about the hobby. Jeff Wilson didn't know the difference between a good investment in the hobby or a bad investment in the hobby. And so he comes into the scene, calls himself the sports card investor, and he actually doesn't really know a lot about trading cards. And we know for sure he didn't know anything about investing in trading cards since he told you guys to buy at the top. And the collectible guru guy is kind of the same way. He's calling himself collectible guru. He's saying that he knows it all. He, he, he's acting like he's a, a guru. Well, a guru would know, guys, that 10, 15 years ago, Series 1 Tops had 36 packs. A few years ago, Top Series 1 would have 24 packs. And now you open up a box of Hobby Series 1 Baseball, and it has 
20 packs. And so that's like the person saying, well, oh, the cereal that I'm buying is the same price it is today. Well, yeah, that's because they're giving you less and less cereal in the box. Same thing with potato chips. And now the same thing with Topps baseball cards. They might be charging about the same price, but they've just taken out 16 packs that you used to get in series one and four packs over just the last year or so. And so the price is not the same. In fact, it's gone up exponentially as they've taken out products and they've taken out packs and they've taken out content within these box. Guys, we have a serious problem in this hobby. I don't mind these influencers. I don't mind these guys that are really super into the hobby and are part of the positivity posse. But so many of them have such terrible takes and have terrible knowledge on this hobby. We've got to correct these guys and we've got to get in their way when they act like they are the gurus and they are the know-it-alls, they are in the investors. They don't know shit and we need to take this hobby back and teach them a thing or two.